what's going on youtube getting a really late start today but want to play around with this new setup that i've got here and it's the 2023 version of the shimano sensolite ultralight rod which i've done several videos on the the old original version of it but this is the sensolite a i figure you know new rod might as well get a new reel for it. and this is i believe the shimano sedona fm the new version of the sedona but got spooled up with some four pound mono a little jig head but this sensolite a it's the same specs as the regular sensolite but as you can tell completely different grip section different color pattern and this is available in several sizes and also now available in light power instead of just ultralight and it's available in five six all the way up to eight feet which is that is going to make a really good crappy jigging rod right there the eight foot especially the seven foot range but anyway we've got about an hour to fish so let's get down here and see what we can catch all right one reason why i say we only got about an hour to fish is an hour is about all i've got like i only brought one battery with me and y'all look kind of dirty yeah it's a little bit better but we're going to start out with a panfish assassin I've said multiple times these are just they're the same body as the Bobby Garland, just shorter. And we got our first fish. Chill, hombre. This crappie's got a screwed up lip. Actually, it's not screwed up, it's just deformed. And what is bouncing around in these weeds over here? It's making me nervous. Like, like something's sneaking up on me. Like these things just trying to find my spots. But like I've said uh, before with the, the older Sensolite, the Sensolites tend to cast heavier baits better. Like they will throw the ultra light baits like 164th and all that just fine, but they're more tuned for your heavier baits and i know it's just the first couple of casts so far with this rod but it feels like my casting is a little bit more accurate with this one over the older sense of light but so far you know we your typical crappie size bait you know one thirty second ounce and a you know one three quarter two inch bait castability is really nice like i like this better than the older sense of light plus this grip is just so much more comfortable also i don't remember if i talked about it in the first part of the video but on this sedona fm or whatever it is the line keeper is a lot more user friendly you can actually get your line in there if you want to peg the distance you want to cast to or if you've you've cut off and just want to tie your line somewhere it's not going to dig into your line and nick it or anything like that also the addition of a anti-reverse switch for those of y'all that like to back reel on whatever you're fishing for which that was a big plus it doesn't really feel any heavier than the older one or any lighter but those two additions definitely definitely stand out to me more in this newer sedona than the old one all right i'm gonna give one or two more casts and we're gonna switch up something else all right i'm going to the old tried and true um berkeley gulp with a one inch chartreuse which i need to order some more of these 
should have this morning, but I didn't. Oh, that was right off the bat. I guess I could tap my drag just a smidge. Another decent red. Not, not not another decent red, but a decent red. We got hands on it. <laughs> it made it back in on its own, I reckon. So it counts. I'll watch that one eat it. Don't know what it is just yet, but it's a big old war mouth. Pretty fish. I like me some war mouth. You can definitely tell the water in this creek is starting to get really, really cool. Because these fish are getting chilly. They're getting a little bit nipply. Oh, hey, we got a fish on. I didn't even feel it hit. I thought I had ran into a leaf or something. Pretty little bluegill. Now this hour has been a little bit slow, which I mean, is kind of expected, but it is what it is. You've got another one. Don't know what it is. Dude, that tiny little bluegill got that Bobby Garland down. It's like me with a plate of uh, deviled eggs. I put a hurting on them. And you know what? We're going ahead, or go ahead and call it quits. It's a really, really short little video. I just wanted to you know, get a feel for this thing real quick and see if it really felt any different as far as handling it, casting, the feel of the fish during the fight and all that. All right, first impressions, the Shimano Sedona FM or whatever the new model was called. I'll put it somewhere on the screen. It definitely feels smoother than the older Sedona, plus the little line keeper thing. That thing's just freaking awesome because I, when I'm done at the end of the day, I usually just cut my line off and just clip it around that little line keeper. That way it stays out of the way. I don't have to worry about extra feet of line getting nicked or cut or whatever during transport or bouncing around my vehicle. And the addition of the... Um, enter reverse switch that is awesome i don't do the whole back reeling thing i'd rather play the drag but there's a lot of people out there that prefer doing the whole back reeling thing and as far as the rod goes it definitely feels different because it's a physically different shaped rod it's the same length and power as the other super light that i have and i'll try to remember to leave some links in the description to a couple of the videos from where i've used that rod 
but they're priced about the same or about 50 59 dollars something like that but i don't know it may it may just be because i haven't used the sense light in a while it feels like it cast better it feels like it loads up a little bit better with lighter lures which wasn't the case with the older one in my opinion it feels like it's just a better rod overall um but it is a new rod for 2023 but anyway it's going to be a really short video just kind of messing around with it like i said and seeing how it feels tomorrow will be the first actual trip out on the water to see how it fins with some crappie hope you like this really short video check out the links in the description especially the top link that's my affiliate link with mule fishing supply company hope you like the video thanks for watching